Hey guys, as per usual, I'm starting this video off with a grocery haul because I have to do some Easter prep tonight because Easter is tomorrow. It's Saturday, tomorrow's Easter Sunday, and I wanted to wait until today to get all of my Easter stuff because I just wanted to make sure that everything was as fresh as possible. I do have to prep some things tonight also. Um, so that's why I went to three different grocery stores and I picked up everything that I'm going to need for Easter brunch tomorrow and for Easter dinner. I have everything kind of separated by store. So I went to Walmart, Automercado, and our local grocery store that's down the street. I didn't spend as much money as I have normally spent in the past because I'm actually keeping Easter pretty simple this year. Like we're doing all our traditional Easter activities and we're going to have a, a bunch of food. We're going to have plenty of food because it's just me and my family, my husband and then my kids. So I don't have to like prep a lot, but we'll have more than enough food for us. And so I wanted to keep it pretty simple this year, not go too overboard because I have a lot that's going on. As you guys probably know from watching my previous videos, I'm planning my daughter's quinceanera, so that's taking a lot of my time and a lot of my money. So <laughs> this is everything I got for Easter. Like I said, Easter brunch and Easter dinner. I'll try to remember to kind of tell you guys what's on the menu as I go through everything. So I got some paper plates because your girl does not want to be washing too many dishes tomorrow with all the prep work and things like that. I just wanted to keep it super simple. I have cups, I think, on hand and forks and spoons. So I just got a 12-pack of paper or plastic plates. I'm making the French toast bread pudding type casserole that I made for Christmas. It was a huge hit, especially with my husband. So I wanted to make that again. So I got the shredded coconut for that, along with a few other items. This is just something I wanted to have on hand for me. I got some fruit juice for tomorrow's drink. I was going to do orange juice, but I thought we'd like this a little bit better. I got coleslaw because on the menu for dinner, I'm making coleslaw, mashed potatoes, broccoli rice, just to make everybody happy, um, and beans. And so I got some coleslaw, and it was on sale today at Walmart. I normally do hash brown, like hash brown patties, but I decided to do the mini potato cakes this time for brunch. I had to put that in the freezer. I got a Canada Dry ginger ale. That's to mix with the fruit juice to make that drink mixture I made for Christmas. It was so good. So I'm gonna make that again for Easter. Broccoli for the broccoli rice, of course. And then I got some condensed milk um, to have on hand. And I also might use that tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, but I got some evaporated milk. This is for the French toast casserole bread pudding. I got mayonnaise for the coleslaw and then chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips for the French toast casserole. And then from Auto Mercado, I got three cans of these pink beans to go as a side. I got the apple pie mixture. I have some puff pastry on hand that I was going to use for a meal, but I'm just going to use that to make a dessert for Easter dinner, for after Easter dinner. So I got the apple pie filling again. My husband really liked that. This was a huge hit with everyone. So instead of buying a dessert, I just bought this. I got the Beyond Meatballs. These are so good, you guys. And it's, it's something that most everyone in my family will eat. So I just got the vegan meatballs, and this is going to be our main. I have some brown gravy mix. So I'm going to make some meatballs in some sauce over mashed potatoes or broccoli rice with the side of coleslaw. Chef's kiss. Mwah. I also picked up some uncured chicken bacon. I have never bought this before. I've never had this before. I normally get my bacon from Costco and I get a four pack of the turkey bacon because we don't eat pork. But all they had at Auto Mercado was this and I'm not going to Costco, probably not for another week or so. 
So I hope this is good. It looks like it's already cooked. I'm going to read the directions, but if it's already cooked, that's just going to make my life so much easier tomorrow morning. So I got that. And only like three of us will eat this. So this is more than enough for everyone that's going to be eating it. And then I got the brioche bread that I need for the French toast casserole slash bread pudding. And I also got another bread. This is a sweet bread with like um, dried candied fruits in it, I think. And like a dolce de leche filling. I remember when I made the French toast casserole, I did two different types of bread and it was so delicious. So I went ahead and got those two. And I also got some walnuts to go with that to put on top with the shredded coconut. And that was everything I got from Auto Mercado. I'm going to be preparing the bread pudding tonight because it has to sit in the refrigerator overnight and then from the local grocery store i got some grapes because we always have like a side of fruit with our brunch on easter potatoes of course with the mashed potatoes i got some blueberries to put out i'm also actually thinking i might throw this in with the apple pie filling to make those apple pie bites with the puff pastry that might be good and then i just got some snickers to have in my um, like treat bin for me. And that's everything I got. I did put the tater tots in the freezer because <laughs> they were melting. But I am so excited for Easter tomorrow. I'm always excited for the holidays, you guys. My kids are looking forward to it. We're super pumped. And so I will obviously share our Easter celebration with you guys because this is going to be a continuation into our Easter vlog. So stay tuned. Okay, so because I didn't decorate the house at all for Easter this year, I don't know, I've just been so lazy. I haven't been decorating for any of the smaller holidays. I didn't decorate for Valentine's Day. And so because we are going to be having our celebration tomorrow, I figured I'd take out the little bit of Easter decor that I have and just make the house look a little bit more festive. It's not much, but I'm going to show you around and show you what I did. So I have my welcome sign on the front of the door. This is super cute. And I think I got this at the Dollar Tree a couple years ago. I'm not sure, but I just... Put this out and then on my entry bookshelf i have these confetti eggs again dollar tree i think these carrots the little eggs that are on sticks like picks so i have this set up right here my happy easter sign my little easter bunny house this was a thrift find a few years ago and this little bunny right here. This little bunny stayed up last year forever. I forgot to take him down um, after Easter. And so he just chilled on this door for months and months. So he's back out again. But I'm taking all of this stuff down tomorrow or Monday after we finish our celebration so I can put everything away. And then, of course, I had to get my eggs. I reuse these eggs every year. We do an Easter egg hunt every year with the kids. That, that's how they find their basket. They do a scavenger egg hunt. So they have to find the clues in each egg and the clues will lead them to their basket. It's so much fun. My kids look forward to this every year. So I had to get the eggs out for that. guys so easter brunch is ready it's 11 o'clock so i have the chocolate chip french toast bread pudding casserole and then we have some fruit some grapes and some blueberries chicken bacon eggs mini potato hash browns and some fruit juice we're gonna dig in
All right, so I'm about to go ahead and fill the kids' Easter baskets right now. Everybody's really excited. We just finished up our Easter brunch. It was really good. And then we all took showers and got ready for the day. So now the kids are just waiting for me to go ahead and prepare all the Easter stuff. So I have to fill the baskets, which I'm going to do right now. I just counted everything just to make sure it's all even. Everybody has 19 items plus their toothbrush, which will make 20. My daughter does have more, but I'm going to condense some items into one thing, like her undergarments. That'll be like one little gift just to make it fair. But again, her things are so much smaller that nobody's going to really notice that she got like a couple things more. I think she has like two or three things more than everybody else. But again, like I said, they're like related items so I can like bunch them together to make them one gift so that in my mind anyway it's still even but I'm going to fill baskets and then I have to go ahead and um, hide the eggs for the scavenger hunt I just wanted to get this done because I know the kids are pretty excited um, I didn't share when I did my Easter haul I didn't share that I got the kids like the three Younger ones, I got them each a bubble wand as well. I'd forgotten about that. So they each have that so that they can do that outside. And then I did go ahead and just give my, I did give my eight-year-old just two of these Minion cereals just to make it even. And then the other two I'll just throw in his lunchbox during the week. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to have all of this stuff in the Easter baskets. Okay, so that worked out. Everything fit in their baskets except for like one item. So one item will be like next to each basket, which I think is super cute. Um, everything barely fits, you guys. Like I said, these baskets are not that big. They are a little bit pliable, so you can stuff things down in there. But for the most part... Like if I am not careful and I overbuy, then yeah, a lot of things have to like sit out of the basket. But I love how they came out. I think they're super cute. I think the kids are going to really love their baskets this year. Baskets just keep getting better and better every year. So I'm going to go ahead and hide these and then start on the scavenger hunt. We're ready. I just finished all the... Um, I just finished hiding all the eggs for the kids to go find so that they can find their baskets. They're gonna do the scavenger egg hunt right now. So excited. Let's go hunting for some clues. To find our baskets, we must know what to do. Let's go hunting for some clues. To find our baskets, we must know what to do. The clues are hidden, but we will find all the goodies that will soon be mine. So we're gonna improvise and use one of the Halloween baskets. So it says, to the pretty basket? I don't know, where we get fresh fruits and veggies.
part yeah. towels. <gasps> Holy macaroni! Where's Palito? All right, hold on. Let me give you guys your baskets. Okay, go ahead. Crack open. This is minion syrup. They said they have a surprise inside. Inside? I always wanted those socks. I have You always wanted those socks? That smells good. Who, who a said pencil? That? I always wanted these socks. Like, I don't give them socks. <laughs> Superman sock versus oh. Batman sock. Dad, look, I have more glasses. <gasps> Man, I wish you hadn't opened this like this it came. I'm gonna have to go tape it up. Mm. Mama, it's okay, you can That's do not it. a headband. What? It's not a headband. It's not a headband? No. What is this? It's um alright guys, dinner is ready. I made broccoli rice because my eight-year-old, this is like his favorite that I make for the holidays. I usually only make this at Thanksgiving, but I made it again for Easter. I made some of the juice. This is just fruit juice and ginger ale. Coleslaw. Mashed potatoes. Beans. And some vegan meatballs. But these meatballs are so good, you would not even know that they were vegan. These are the Beyond Meat meatballs. I'm telling you. You need to try these. They're bomb. And then for dessert, I made some apple pie bites. And then with the leftover puff pastry and apple pie filling, I made like a turnover. I made an apple turnover. So that's what we're going to have for dessert. All right. So the kids are getting ready um, to go back to school after having a week off. We watched Charlie Brown, the Charlie Brown Easter movie. We watch that every year. And we watch like a holiday specific Charlie Brown movie for each holiday. So we watch that. And so now it's just, you know, everybody doing what they need to do to get ready for the week. I cleaned up the kitchen. I had a lot to clean up a lot of pots and pans so i'm so happy that i got plastic plates because that would have been too much but kitchen's clean kids are getting ready to head back to school for the week um i'm doing a few last minute things and i guess that is it for the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you in my next one bye